Shopify have just released over 100 updates to their platform, and these are really gonna help you grow your online store. There's updates such as heavily integrated AI, there's updates to replace apps that you're currently paying for, and there's even updates to the theme editor to give you more customization to make it look more like your brand. So today I wanted to show you the top 10 features that I really love that's gonna help you really skyrocket your Shopify store. If we haven't met yet, my name is Brendan and I'm a Shopify partner, I'm an e-commerce coach, and I personally run seven figure Shopify stores. I've been in the e-commerce game for over 15 years and I've created this YouTube channel to help people start, scale and optimize their online businesses. I really wish I had a channel like this when I was going through e-commerce. First thing you're obviously gonna notice is the look and feel of the Shopify interface. It looks completely different to what it has done. In fact, they say this is the biggest visual update that they have done in the last seven years. A few things you're going to notice is the fonts have changed and they're a little bit smaller. They say they're doing this to allow you to have more screen space so you can fit more on the page. They've replaced the icon, they've increased the way the alerts look so they stand out a lot more and you're not gonna miss them. The metrics are a lot clearer to see, so they're right at the top and they're in your face, which means you can see exactly how your store's performing at any one time. The search bar is a lot quicker. So you can go up right at the top, type in anything in your store you wanna search for. It could be an order, it could be content, it could be a product. You just type it up the top in the search bar and you get the results back super fast. The other one that I really love is the improved bulk editor. So it all fits on the screen a lot more nicely now and you can also adjust the columns and really filter right down if you're doing huge edits of products all at once. The cool thing is you'll see that you already have access to this feature. The second feature that I'm loving is an update to the way the themes work. Now over the last few years, we've really seen an improvement in the theme editor since Shopify 2.0 and this update is no different. We're going to see a lot more customization on the way that we can work with sections. So we're not gonna just be stuck with the section that the developer gives us, we're going to be able to move sections around. They're using a technology called Flexbox, which means that when an image or a section or a text is uploaded to the theme, we can actually move it around and drag and drop things directly with the editor so you can actually see what's changing and not needing a developer to move those things around. And in order to use this feature now, your theme developer is going to need to update the theme to take advantage of these features. Feature number three, which we've been talking about for a little while, is Shopify bundles. These are now live and accessible to everyone. Originally, they were just in beta and only a few people could access them, but now anyone can do them. So you're going to need to install the bundles app by Shopify, and that's going to add it into the store. It's free, so you don't need to pay anything extra for it, and it's going to give you the ability to create bundles. Now, these bundles are super simple. We can just put products together into one product set, and it creates a bundle for you. So think you've got a pair of sneakers, and you want a pair of socks to bundle with it. What you can do is you create this bundle, you put the sneakers and the socks in the the same bundle and what we can do is we can give it a price if people buy those things together. We can add a discount, we can add different descriptions and we can add different product photos. It's a really cool feature. Now for those of you that want more advanced bundles, uh, this bundle app isn't that amazing for that sort of thing, but for super basic bundles, it's actually perfect. So this is available now on the Shopify app store. Now the fourth feature that I really like is called Marketplace Connect. Now this is actually an app that I've been using for a little while, but they've just renamed it and they've reskinned it to make it look like a Shopify app. Uh, it's the original Cadisto app, but now they're calling it Marketplace Connect and you can install it directly into Shopify. What this app does is it allows you to sell your products on places like eBay, Walmart, Amazon, and a few other marketplaces directly within Shopify. So you can just click the product that you wanna sell on those marketplaces, connect into that marketplace with a username and password, and you'll be able to sell your products directly in there. It's also gonna allow you to customize the way the product looks on those platforms. It's a really cool app. I've been using it for ages, and now it's great that Shopify have actually taken control, and hopefully they're gonna make it better. And you'll be able to get this app by going into the Shopify app store and just searching for Marketplace Connect. Okay, number five is a big one. It's called subscriptions. Now, a lot of stores love to use subscriptions because it allows us to get recurring revenue from our customers. So I subscribe to places for my razors, for my coffee, for my milk. There's lots of things that I have monthly subscriptions for. And usually when Shopify stores want to do this, they'd have had to use a third party app to do it. And there's some amazing third party apps out there that, that do this, but now Shopify have built it directly into the platform for free. So you can use it to create recurring subscriptions. The cool thing about this is it's really easy to set up. You just create a subscription, you determine how frequently you wanna offer that subscription and the price that you wanna offer it. You can then list that on your product page and a customer can either buy it one time or they can buy it recurring directly from you, which means that you can continue to sell products without having to get new customers. Now this is currently in beta, so you'll have to sign up for early access, but no doubt it's gonna be available super soon. 
Now update number six is all about AI. So Shopify have integrated AI directly into Shopify inbox and instant answers. So if you're using inbox for your customer service, it's now getting a whole lot better. So you're going to be able to create instant answers using Shopify's AI tool and AI language model so that you can actually answer questions using AI. It's amazing. The really cool thing about this is, is it takes the content from your store so it actually knows the answers to the questions that people might be asking. It's going to know what your shipping policy is. It's going to know information about how to use your product so that when someone asks you a question, it goes into the content on your store and it can formulate an answer to give back to the customer automatically without you having to type it in. You can either accept that answer, edit it or send it through, or you can put it in as an instant answer directly into your inbox. This is gonna save you time and it's gonna make your customers a lot happier because they're getting answers a lot quicker. And number seven is another AI update. This is where Shopify AI is now integrated into Shopify Mail and into your actual theme. So this is really cool. So if you're using Shopify email, it's going to help you write emails, it's gonna help you create subject lines, it's gonna help you design the email, it's even gonna tell you the best time of day to send this email. It's really leveling up your email game, so all you need to think about is the marketing campaign you wanna send out, and the AI is going to do the rest. The second part of this feature is AI directly built into the Shopify theme. So now we can go in when we're creating a section and instead of having to get copywriter to write the content for us, we can actually get the AI to write it for us. And it's gonna write it in the tone of voice that we want it to do. It's going to do exactly how we want and put it directly into the section there. And this feature is ready right now so you can use it within your theme. You just need to look for the little purple Shopify magic icon to use it now. Now number eight is one of my favorite and it's got a lot of hype around it. It's called Shopify Sidekick. Now this is a AI expert bot that's going to be always on in your Shopify store. Imagine you could have someone pretty much like me that you could ask a question to any time that you wanted. Not only that, this AI bot's gonna know everything about your store, everything about your market, everything about your products and your history and your data and everything like that. So any question you ask it, it's actually going to have the information that it needs to answer your question. You're gonna be able to ask it questions like, why are my sales down? Create me a promotion create me a collection, create, you can even get it to create a product for you. This AI is gonna be awesome. Now this hasn't been released just yet. Shopify's CEO has created a video explaining exactly what this is about. So I urge you to watch that because it's gonna get you super excited. But no doubt this is gonna be released very soon and it's gonna be an absolute game changer for Shopify entrepreneurs. Now number nine is a new one which I wasn't expecting coming and it's called Shopify Collective. Now this is gonna be amazing for all the dropshippers that are using overseas suppliers to ship into their country. What Shopify Collective does is it allows you as a brand to sell from other suppliers. So let's just say a supplier lists a product, you can then list that product on your store. When you sell it, the supplier is going to ship it out. Once they've shipped it out, the tracking number then comes back into your store. You take the money, Shopify pays the supplier, and you just make the margin on that product. It means that you can list hundreds and hundreds of products on your store that aren't even yours, and other people can fulfill them for you. This is gonna be an absolute game changer for people who wanna extend their product range, sell more products, and increase the margins of their business. Now, this is only available in the US right now, but I'm expecting to see more and more suppliers come on board globally, and this is gonna be an amazing addition to a Shopify store. Now all those updates are going to be available for all Shopify plans. Now there are a number of Shopify Plus only updates, which you should know about for those of you that are using Shopify Plus. Because Shopify Plus users get full customization of the checkout, app developers have been given access to embed apps directly into the Shopify checkout. So we're now seeing upgrades to the checkout of things like subscriptions directly in checkout, more advanced delivery options, and we've even got direct pickups within the checkout that we can modify. So it's gonna be really cool for those of you that have really advanced checkout needs and if you're using Plus. The other cool addition for Plus users is the upgrade to the theme editor. We're now able to create specific pages for B2B customers, which means within the theme, we can create one product page for D2C customers, and then we can create one product page for B2B customers all within the theme editor. That's something we haven't been able to do before. And they've also leveled this up with markets. So we're going to be able to create one page for a local market and then one page for an international market. Depending on the region they're in, we can show different content to them. And this is are all gonna be available directly within the theme editor. Now that's the 10 features that I think are super useful in this Shopify Summer Editions update. Now, as I said, there are over 100 feature upgrades in this edition update. So make sure you go check out the Shopify website, have a read through all the updates that have been put there and see which ones are gonna work for you.